There's so much to learn in our journey yoked with Jesus. It's information in God's Word that we can benefit from personally if we just listen and obey its contents. Hop of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we're taught by God when we are when we are yoked to Jesus or abide in him and follow his lead. He instructs us and teaches us in the right way, Isaiah 28, 26. In our yoked journey, we learn many things in 1 John chapters 1 through 5. We learn in chapter 1, verse 1, Jesus is the word of life who existed from the beginning. Verse 3, he wants us to be to have fellowship with him and the Father. Verse 5, in Christ is light and no darkness. If we live and move in darkness, we're not yoked with Christ. Verse 7, when we walk and when we walk with him in the light, we have fellowship with other believers. And Jesus' blood removes all our sin and guilt. Verse 9, all we have to do is confess and repent from our sins, and he will forgive our sin. <clears throat> Chapter 2, verse 1. If we step up, if we slip up in sin, we have an advocate with the Father. As verse 2, Jesus is the atoning sacrifice for our sins and the sins of the world. To really get to know God, we must keep his commandments and teachings. Verse 5. This obedience also allows God's love to be perfected in us. This is how we know we are yoked to Christ. As we are yoked to Christ and walk with him, Chapter 2, verse 6 says that that's proof we abide in him. Other indicators are verse 8, darkness is clearing away and God's true light is shining. Verse 9, we also won't hate our brother in Christ. Verse 10, for when we love our brother, we are abiding in the light and not subject to sin and stumbling. Verse 12, and our sins are forgiven. As we continue to walk yoked with Christ, verse 15 tells us to get rid of any love for the world and its possessions. For if you do so, the love of the Father cannot be in us. Why? Verse 16, the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life comes from the world, not from God. As we walk yoke with Christ, verse 17, you will do the will of God, carrying out his purposes. Verse 20, anointed by Holy Spirit to know the truth, which is very important in these last days when deception runs rampant. As yoke followers, chapter 3, verse 1 calls us children of God who verse 2 says will resemble our Father and become more and more like Him. Verse 5, in Him there is no sin. Verse 6, no one who abides in Christ will practice sin. Rather, verse 7, they practice righteousness. Together as we walk, yoke with Christ, we take on His purposes, in verse 8, to undo the works of the devil. Words of encouragement, as we continue on our journey in this life yoked with Jesus, uh, walking side by side or shoulder to shoulder. He is with us and he gives us intimate knowledge about himself and the Father in his word. To get the most out of our instruction, we must read the word as it is and as it is he's imparting this information for our benefit in our quest to get to know him personally. Have a great day.